and gentlemen, this map pack is insane. We already discovered four maps. They got, they, honestly, they have gotten more and more insane. We started off with most normal map ever. We went on to something pretty creative, pretty transitional. Then we went over to an interesting concept with like intended cuts or like intended hidden routes. Then we went over to fucking mini trial map, absolutely cooked by whiskey yesterday. Fucking insane. Like, couldn't even get a single close run through, a clean run through. Like, insane map. Definitely make sure to watch that if you haven't already. And now we have one map left in the uh, Trackmania World Tour 2024 playoff map pack. It's called Wave Control by Roquette. We're going in. Roquette definitely one of the OG mappers as well in Team GL, kinda. Like, Roquette is kinda hit, a, hit or miss, to be honest. Like, some of his maps yes, are really me, nice, actually. and sometimes it's just, like, he always builds a similar kind of style. I see Redwood, GG Alcon. Um, but it's like, sometimes it's, like, really good, and sometimes it's like... Eh. Like, for example, Grip was, like, a really yak map, at least for us. But some other maps were really cool, so let's see what he cooked here. Yeah. Also from surely above... Surely this map is gonna be less dank. Yeah, surely, uh, surely it's not dank if the top five records are <laughs> six seconds apart. Oh my god. Ah, okay, yeah, let's go. Uh, crazy. Uh, looks normal from above. We're going in. Let's see. Surely I can get a clean run for you. I actually surely, predicted surely. to have wet wood uh, reactor down in the World Cup map pack yesterday. Yeah. yeah. And well, I got it. Yeah. You want the bingo? I want the bingo. Yeah. Elkhorn type uh, what, one. What was not on my uh, bingo card was Cam dropping the map pack. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, I don't have the optimal angle, but I should be able to survive this. Let's just continue. I mean, Wetwood's nothing too crazy. Like, not very used yet, but honestly cool, fun. We already had a map like this in the previous map, pack, actually. Okay, it's definitely a bit more normal than the previous one. I can already see that. Is this a backslide? No. Yeah. Where do I have to go? Yeah, I was also confused at Discovery. Okay. Not sure if I'm supposed to slide. I'm definitely not supposed to get water here. Oh, Camp 3 is so good sometimes, and sometimes so horrendous. Yeah, it's actually true. Then here you can pick up the reset, go like this. Yeah. A lot of water. Water tends to be always yak. This is like a slide here that you do to get, to get around here. Looks like a slide to me, might be wrong. Well, at this part I was looking forever what to do. Uh, ice. Yeah. Yeah. Into... Okay, creative ice exit. What did this remind you of? This here? This part, yeah. It's a uh, Team GL map. Is it actually a side wave or how it was called? Like, uh, the, wasn't there a map called wave? Yeah, but no. Kind of reminds me of something else. Okay. I don't go here. <laughs> uh, no, Off-road. Do you remember ah, that? Off-road, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, maybe, Remember yeah. that one ice slide oh, what, what, that what the basically hell? we played uh, for hours and hours? Yeah, that was fun. It was also ice slide into booster. Okay, was that correct? That felt weird. Okay, a lot of water here. That's always like... I'm not a fan of water. Uh. Okay, quarter but pipe? Quarter... Was actually bad quarter pipe is always cool. I like quarter pipe jumps. Shorty likes them as well, I know. Shorty type 1. I have to jump quite high here, actually. Holy moly. Uh, okay, 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 okay. More like normal than a map before, for sure. <laughs> Actually, I would say second most normal map, to be honest. But maybe I'm missing things. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, Ryan just said in my chat, this map is giga dank. Oh, did you watch the previous map? <laughs> yeah, for me, this is also the second second most normal map, for sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that one is just boring, and this is just competitive, a bit spiced up, I guess. Yeah, like Femus like look. water, that's the thing. I, I don't like water, <laughs> so I'm not sure yet what I think about it. Okay. Yeah, you gotta check out the other maps, alright. You upload them in order, right? I think. I upload them in order, so this is the oh, last upload yeah, okay. here, yes. So we're not really s spoiling. So I guess you just take the, the sand here, you dry your tires, and then you can do like a slide out of this. So this is wet tire, then like slide into this, and then like this thing. Actually, yeah, I wish people would upload in order. First Kisla, then this map, then Kaluki, then Banano, and then Whiskey map as the final. That would yeah. have been the right order to upload. In terms of, you know, harder, yeah, true, harder, true, harder, harder, harder. Dang, dang, dang. That would true. be kind of cool. 
The thing is, these maps, at least some of them, like not the first one, but all the others are so cooked, like they deserve an own video for me, I would say. That's actually one of the things about last year's World Cup that I loved. Like, it was such a cool thing to have, like, one map a day. I kind of like that, to be honest. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Like, it, of course, it wouldn't work this year, where you only have 10 days, or like 11 days, or 12, or whatever. I think they were actually planning to do that. But there it was really cool, because yeah. we had so much time. The issue was just that the map pack release last year was like a little bit too early. Like people started practicing, played the maps, but then they like yeah because they had five million other tournaments going on. That's true. Like the maps were released like three months before the tournament. Okay, wait, how do I? Survive I don't get this? it, bro. You, you know what funny is? Like in general on maps, you sometimes get something that is so ordinary, like odd, like you actually get it, like you understand what to do. Yeah. And then then that's like the most obvious shit, and you don't get it. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's because like uh -huh. it's kind of subjective. What's like obvious and what not. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So I'm missing something. I'm just a little. Okay. okay. Yeah. So far, it's kind of like a rocket map, but yeah, I think but like rather one of the good rocket maps. Not like. Yeah, for sure. I definitely uh, compared to other maps. I think this also more fits us in general compared to fucking yeah. grip. Yeah, like grip was here. Didn't he also build like, um, oh, how was that map called? It Stuftz was insane at in the World Cup. Well, that was hard. The plastic, na 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 na. Ah, uh, no. surf. Surf, yeah, surf. Didn't he also build surf? Yeah, we were also yak on it. Yeah, Rocket likes to use water. He also had a Comic Con map where he also used water. Forgot the name as well. But this is, ki I kind of noticed that this is a Rocket map. Uh, we were also bad on that map. <laughs> <Musha>. <laughs> <laughs> I was terrible at that. Ah, no, I wasn't that bad actually, but we just had no okay, chance against the, the cookers. Yeah, I was terrible at it. I don't know. I don't know what it's me and rocket maps. But hard, I was. I was giga. Rubbishon. Hard was a cool map, yeah. So I would guess that you have to do a slide here and then. But he's like objectively slider. one of the gold mappers. Even when I don't like his maps, he is great at map. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's like one of the. Uh, he's definitely one of the best. Not like one of the like very, very, very best. Like I wouldn't. I would say it's, I, I still yeah, see yeah, some. Yeah, yeah. But he always delivers That's nice fair. maps, kind of. You know. Like, yeah, he you just know, does good maps. Yeah, always. exactly. Like. Like for me personally, he lacks like some super creative dankness, kind of. But that's also just like a me thing, that I like. You know. Yeah, World Cup is one. Is this just like a slide here, or what is this? Either no slide or slide. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Then release. This war ride is hard to tell if you have to go high or stay rather low. I just know that I bro, don't make hard maps. Bro, the hard maps are gonna be like bro. Jeez. Ah, you have to go high. Try a million lines on the maps, like. I don't okay. know if training alone is actually good for this. I don't know, like there's so many like, things you have to check as well. Yeah, like Mimeset is gonna train alone, but you're Fully gonna miss out Paco. on things. I don't know, he said solo, so... Sounds like it. Yeah, okay. Paco. Yeah. The thing is, like, it's... It, like, he wouldn't do it if there would be more slots, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was also thinking about it. Like... Yeah. I can map myself, no problem. I can figure out stuff, yeah, not everything though. I'm probably gonna train more than you. Is it gonna be better for me? I don't know. <laughs> but since you say you will lock in, you are. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, I, I like for example, for XPP Evo, I would say we're roughly on the same level five maps yeah i mean i always have like i have worse pbs which is always the case yeah. like, if you look at our club yeah but if you would put the same if you would have the same now for this like you know you're gonna put more effort now into this yeah, yeah definitely the, like you know what i mean like you, you get what i mean like, you're gonna have like way worse times then you know it snowballs yeah but since you put more effort into this then yeah. you will also have great times Aurus, W. True, we have Aurus. Aurus is the gold at finding lines. Honestly, true, actually. 
All right, yeah. I'm gonna stay it. Am I doing? I'm, this? I'm gonna backseat, bro. Fucking wall slide. Huh? In the water. <laughs> wow, well, backseated, it. guys. I actually backseated. Oh, I mean it's the last map, and you're literally. I'm way too fast here. Okay. <laughs> Guys, it's also, it's also super late for the people watching on YouTube. Like, I yeah, literally like stream at a time, a usually I would be in bed right now already. I'm bummed. Okay, 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 okay. Cam band massa, yeah. So you're now live World Cup maps now and go back to XP later. Yeah, basically. But I'll be honest with you, I... I don't feel 100% ready for XP Evo. But no. I think I said the same. I, I, I said I now. had a huge discussion about that, or like discussion, like like uh, like a lot oh. of my talk on uh, map one was about that because I my conclusion basically was, um, whoever is gonna um, win XP Evo is most likely someone who didn't grind for World Tour that much. So he is gonna win XP Evo, but then will not have a chance at World Cup. And if you do, if you focus on World Tour yeah. playoffs and you uh, don't make it, then you will. Have, I mean, of course, you will still have a chance at XP World, but it will have more of a disadvantage. Like, yeah, I mean, it depends. Way, it's not perfect. It depends. If someone really went hard, hard since XP World went back release, which I did not, and you definitely not either. No. Um, I think it's possible to win XP World. Yeah, definitely. For someone like Epos, Stuft, Pack, maybe if you went hard. Binks, maybe if you went hard, it's definitely possible. Despite yeah. playing the World Cup, the thing but is technically yes, but you also have to s put in like the how do you call it, the, the human aspect, like grinding maps for two, three months every single day, ten different super hard maps. That's true. That's true. Like at some point you're unlikely. Out. It's unlikely someone did that or managed to do it, but yeah. it's possible. For me, actually, one of the most favorite guys again is Otto. Like, not just because of the skill, just because he's qualified and he doesn't have the time pressure. He can just organize it quick, nicely, you know what I mean? Like, yep. he can... I feel I'm like he has sure, great chances for, for XP World again. Yeah. I think this here is a low slap, by the way. Yeah, yeah it is. Have, like, wet tires. Like, if I try to do a slide, then I just... I uh, have icy tires, so... Uh, I legit don't remember, but I think it is. Maybe if I slide, it's, like, super awkward. Like it works. Like and this year everything is just... Honestly, this year everything is just unfair and chaotic and stupid yeah. and unorganized. And every, literally everything. And whoever has advantages or disadvantages, it's not the player's fault, it's oh the organizer's God. fault. Yep. So, just to make that clear. Yeah, I said pretty much the same. Like, I also said like uh, that I don't like all of the regional qualifying shit, but that it's not like... And also the stuff with like Casey, but it's obviously not like yeah. Otak's fault or something. Yeah, exactly. I hope everybody understood that. Okay, yeah, definitely a bit more of a normal map here. But it seems fun to be honest, like, seems cool. Still a lot of parts that you can risk, like, it's not, like, easy. It just feels easy after <laughs> after the previous map. Like, this map, like, this map five times looks doable to get somewhat regular. Yeah. Maybe. Like, you know what I mean? But never perfect regular, like you oh. could do in a month of training or two or three. Nope. But sadly, you also have harder maps. <laughs> yeah, sadly, this is I the mean, second sadly, easiest. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. Is Bren playing Xpivo or Volvic? Uh, Bren is playing Volvic. I don't know if he's he's not playing Xpivo. I'm pretty sure. Like Bren is living in Australia. Like he's not gonna come over for Xpivo. Yeah, no, that is no good. So Bren this year is a uh, content creator, which is probably his most smart. Like, yeah, probably his, the the year that was the worth it the most for him. In Trickmania terms, income, salary, whatever. But already but because for of me, things pops. It's a huge difference. You focus on playing or whatever. Because it's not really worth to focus on playing. And for me, it's more of a mental thing. Like, I just don't enjoy content creation 24/7 like you, for example. No, that's fair. I just don't do it that much. I just don't like it. I don't know. Do it whenever I feel like it. But yeah, esports is just not worth this year. So Brand yeah, this is year it's like uh, doing it correct. The but smartest missing, thing, like, like if you would, if you are so. full time and you w just wanna earn like money this year, you know, maybe because you wanna buy something or whatever. Smartest move would have been ignore everything esports related, just go full configuration. Yeah, like already true. with deep dip to be honest. 
I mean, arguably the biggest winner is someone like Mudder. He could finally stream active again, and he just easy peasy qualified in Australia and go uh, to World yep. Cup either way. You know what I mean? Yep. Okay, I got a somewhat clear. Uh, answer it's it's time. not Mudder. It's literally the system. It's just how it is. <laughs> he had he had a perfect to be honest. Yep. Yeah, but also like like someone like Lars, like did like such a jump this year, yeah, but also Ben, like. You know, it's mostly the content creators. Like none of the esports yeah, people like course. popped off today uh, this year because like really nice, was just, you know, not really there. Was <laughs> yeah. Dog shit. Yeah, hopefully next year. That's why big war, big duo dash tomorrow is gonna be well, might be important. Importante. Importante. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I could hunt a bit more, but honestly, since it's already late, like I don't know, like I got a somewhat clean run through. Of course, not like insane. I'm 2.5 seconds behind AT. But uh, I'm gonna watch Ender. Ender Ender's run seems to be quite fast already. 108.0. I'm gonna check it out real quick. Maybe it's I even the, missed some strats. I told you earlier, it's the map, it's the map dancer. I don't know what he did before, but. Yeah, so Ender I'm not played the already. He's there were quite a few already, map testers, I think, but I don't know who. Yeah. Now here you keep the gear. I didn't know that Orion. before. This is cool with the sand and getting the grip back. Definitely sick. Yeah. Very nice. This part here, I, I don't know. But I fought this for like really 10 minutes, I was doing it wrong. Like, <laughs> it felt so. Yeah, it wrong. feels a bit weird. But, but it's kind of cool in the end. Yeah, honest. true. Yeah. But seems like that's a part where you wouldn't expect it, but you can gain a lot, I think. It's gonna be tricky. And here outside is also nice. I like Bobsleigh. Like, I think Bobsleigh is underused in. Oh uh, shit, maps. you can risk that part so much, I just noticed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before the Bobsleigh, because there's penalty. Oh my god. Okay, interesting the red line. And the ending is not too hard here. Like here, yeah. Just so like uh, Sunday, right? Yeah, Sunday. Uh, gotta learn the maps, guys. Crazy. But yeah, for now, uh, I think we're done with Trickmania World Tour. For now, <laughs> like we're done with the discovery at least. Uh, yeah, you like crazy off. map pack overall. Maybe, maybe a small conclusion maybe. from both of us. Maybe. Small confusion? What do you think? What do you mean? No, a small conclusion. A conclusion. Conclusion. Uh, what do you I'm think about the five though, maps? Because we're done now well, with all five. If you haven't watched all of them on my YouTube, watch it. Massa maybe uploading as well. I have no idea. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not. not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Massa also discovered them. You can also watch it on Twitch if you want to. But yeah, let's maybe go through the maps again. Like small, uh, small verdict. What do we think? I mean, map yeah, I one, well. Castle Mania was map one that we started uh, with. Yeah. I think we can all agree that this is the worst map out of the map pack. I would say. Very normal. The length is pretty nice. Like it's 115 long, one of the longest maps. That's pretty cool. Um, I also like the way he used the yeah, castle nice. blocks there and stuff. But overall, it was just very simple, very normal, and didn't feel that calculated. I didn't even notice the the clip issues that much that everybody mentioned. But I also didn't really play the map too much because already after 10 minutes, I wasn't really interested in the map. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you just watch the record, you can already see him going over so many corners, and then yeah. you even hear the clip sound. You yep. know what I mean? Yeah, okay, fair. And you would just clip, like, you know, in, but at one corner you clip 2 out of 10 times, like you get yep. the slowdown. In the other like... corner you get the slowdown 8 out of 10 times. You know yep. what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, like... yeah. And it's just parts, like, you can probably, like, you have to risk it, but then at some point, you, if you hit it a little bit wrong, you can get a penalty. It won't feel nice, it will just be frustrating, most likely. Yeah, it, it will be like, sometimes you go more over it, you don't slow down, and then you try to save it, you clip it with a millimeter, and then you slow down, you're gonna be pissed because you tried to save it, and yep. you know what I mean? Like, you just know already by experience, it's not gonna be yeah. fun. Like, it's really. a solid competitive map, but especially in this map pack, if you compare it to, honestly, all of the other maps, you can uh, see how big the difference is. Yeah. And yeah, I think we can, like, he, not only, like, I think outshined. we all have the same opinion there, like, it's not only... Uh, outshined is the word, for sure. Outshined. Yeah. Literally yep. outshined. True. Okay, then map two was Roll Cage by Karluki. It was the map where you, uh, the identity or like the theme basically was that you use these dirt blocks that you also see in the thumbnail, but um, you kind of use the sides a lot to drive on it, and as well many, as well as many transitions, many jumps. That one was really cool to be honest. Like I, I don't know, like was an interesting theme. Was not easy to drive as well. Looked very hard. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like seemed pretty nice to me. I don't oh. really have a longer opinion about it. Like just pretty nice, interesting. Some parts seems really difficult, like for example this ending, because the, the edges that you go up to on these dirt blocks can be like very harsh and very bumpy, so it will be very precise to I, get the I, lines done. For me this map was in Discovery not the best compared to the other three that are coming through, but it was good. But I do think, after watching a record again, that this map is going to be 
actually on par with the other maps once yep. you figure out all the exact lines. That is... I think it's going to be fun playing still, you know? Yeah, very possible. Okay, then. Yeah, and I like the length again, the length of the maps in general. Yeah, true. This one was. The first two were actually the longest. The others were like a little bit shorter, but uh, I don't, oh, okay. don't think it will matter too much. <laughs> but map <laughs> no. 3, I think map 3, Secrets by Banano, is my favorite map overall. Because, like, I also yeah, really sure. like map 4 because it's so dank, but it's a little bit too much for me almost. Mainly because, like, the, the dankness comes from stuff that I like. I don't like backwards dankness, for example, you know? And Ice 360, yeah. it's just not really my thing. So I like map 3 the most, I think, with all of these secret but routes, super cool jumps. I don't really mind that it's only one surface being used, mainly. Um, but a yeah, very cool concept, yeah. such a good execution by Banano, super creative. As I said, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. And I think you also said this was the best map, right? Yeah, same for me. We're also, like, uh, very high rated. Uh, also 10 out of 10. But, like, uh, the only thing I'm scared of... I'm not scared of. Because we're going towards you. I think this is going to be full pace. Yeah, I, I think, think it's I actually th one of the that's true. only map most likely, maybe with map one, of course, where it's going to be absolute pace. That's true. Sure, like, map five is also not the very hardest, but still harder. So, yeah, yeah I, I think you have to full YOLO map three. Yeah. Yeah, like the risky routes were like crazy in the discovery, but once you like everybody knows about them already and once you practice yeah. them, I, the map is not going to be too complicated, to be honest. Nah, I think it's it might be about one or two parts, and then it could get annoying. The map. I still think the map is insane, but I feel like I feel like once you know the route, you can gain maybe point one or point two on the map, and then there's gonna be this one part where you gain point three. That's true. Like the reactor backslide, maybe yeah. you know. So it could get really annoying this map, but yeah. we'll see. We will see. Yeah. The thing is, it could be also like really cool, like uh, because it's like a dank map to watch, but it will also deliver close races for spectators. Yeah, I think for watching, this is one of the greatest maps because it will still be competitive and nice to watch between players. Plus, it will offer variety, dankness, entertainment, wicked. True, 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 true. Unlike map four. What a, <laughs> what a what a transition yeah. that could literally just create chaos. Yeah, I doom. mean you also see it in the discovery like gold, gold, AT, gold on the last map, Bronx. <laughs> like this map could literally be overcooked. It's hard to tell, but discovery is like I don't think it was not chaotic for anyone. Like, like everybody had like issues. The round spread is gonna be so important to see like yeah like round spread is gonna be so important. Holy fuck! It could be really dank. And it's super cool, but it could also be an absolute shit show. Like, it's really hard to tell. And, like, if we had, like, two, three months, I would say, yeah, crazy map. Will be fun to play for a long period of time. And once again, a reminder, 11 days or 12, kind of. So, yeah. But, it's like, on terms of, in terms of creativity, the whiskey absolutely outdone himself. Like, I guess he wasn't given any, like, major restrictions. And he just said, like, yeah, I can do what I want finally. And I'm just going to absolutely cook. And I think he did. Like, so many crazy things that you would never expect on a competitive map. It's just crazy. I mean, you all saw it, hopefully. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Like, there's not a lot you can say about it. It's just ultra fucking dank. Yeah. Yeah, to cry, chat. I'm doing a voting right now for the whole map pack. 1 oh. to 10. Type 1 to 10 in chat. Yes. Also my chat. Everyone. Do it. Do it now. Well, your chat won't work, but... Yeah, but just type what you think, guys. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the meantime, we can come to map 5. Map 5 was, like, nice to cool down a little bit on the map pack, to be honest. As I said, it was, like, second most normal map after map 1. But this is, like, normal, but not, like, boring standard normal, but, like, cool normal, sort of, if that makes sense. So, also here, a few tricky parts. Pretty, like, roquette-ish map overall. Like, a lot of water being used. Some tricky sections, rather technical and slow. It's a typical roquette map, but, uh... Pretty good one, I would say. N so, nice competitive map with good twists, I would say. Yeah, That's I would say it. so. I don't yeah. know if it's insanely good, 10 out of 10, 9 of 10, 8 of 10, I don't know, but I think this map is just really nice. Competitive. Yeah, we will see it when we hunt it a bit more. But definitely a bit more on the normal side, but still like good normal. N not too boring or anything. And so overall, what do you think out uh, of 10? Overall map pack. Um, I have a number. I'm going to mark it and chat. We have a number. Yeah, okay. Um, cool. I mean, I'm just gonna maybe do my average out of the maps, to be oh, honest. Uh, Might make is. the most sense. So I would give map 1, honestly, like, I'm gonna give it a 4. I think I said 5 earlier, but honestly, now that I saw all the maps, I'm gonna give it a 4. <laughs> yeah, right? It's such yeah. a downer. Yeah, I could also, yeah. Yeah, I could also go lower, but I, I kind of... Mm. It feels a bit mean to go, like, so low, but it's just, like, the I know, comparison I know, with I know, other maps. 
Then map two, maybe like um, right now, like we just go by first impression. Like it could still change a lot, of course. Uh, I would say uh, honestly, uh, like eight or nine out of ten. I would say. Actually, gonna give it a nine. To be honest, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Yeah, if you're being nice, nine is fair. I would say yeah. even. Then three, ten out of ten for me. Map four, uh, I'm not sure. It was like almost a bit 24. too dank for me. And okay. I'm, I'm a bit worried about this map. Like it could, it's super cool, but I'm gonna give it. Ah, uh, because I'm a bit scared that it could be overcooked. I'm gonna give it like I'm gonna give it a eight still. I could also say oh, seven. Still high, okay. Yeah, I could. Okay. Yeah, it was standing between seven and eight, but let's just go eight. And okay, then thirty-one. Um, yeah, you're Mr. Nice Guy. You're Mr. Nice Guy. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, wave control, I also give like I would say I'm also giving it an eight. Like for me, it's missing a few like different kind of things. It's like still like mostly the the rocket stings, but since it's executed so nicely, I'm gonna give it an eight. Wait, no, I forgot. It's 39, right, guys? 39 so divided by five. 39 oh. divided by five is yeah, pretty much eight or like 7.9 something. 7.8 .8, apparently. 7.8. Yeah. Going to. Quit. Sounds almost a bit worse. I think I would, than I would I think think I would give actually. roughly the same. Yeah. Except map one, I, I, mean, I would map give one a three. Is heavily fr pulling it down, to be fair. Yeah, uh, I, I think I would give map one a three. I would give map two an eight, map three a ten, map four a nine. Yeah. And map five, eight. Okay. Yeah, should be similar. So it's literally the same. Maybe the thing is, like, an, for an overall yes. map pack, like, 8 or 9 out of 10 is insane. Like, there will never be a 10 out of 10 map pack. Like, there can yeah, be 10 yeah. out of 10 maps, but there will never be, like... A map imagine pack, map like, 1 was a, an, an 8, you know? Imagine yeah, map like, one it, was would an be, eight. it would be, like, a be 9 out of 10 map pack. Like, super, super good. Like, if I would have done so something still... like this for all other map packs I played previously, it would have all been worse, to be fair. Yep. Like, this here, definitely the worst, uh, the best out of the World Tour map packs. It's also better than, like, let's say... I would also, like, XP would also be worse for me. Uh, Comic Con, for example, would be worse for me, and also like last year's mapping. Like, this is still really, really good overall. It's just this one map pulling it down. Other than that, crazy. And I, now I also understand what you said earlier. With um, the maps are like all kind of dank, except for map one, but like different dank. Like it makes absolute sense now. But yeah, crazy cool map pack. Will be fun to hunt this, but will also be exhausting as fuck. Uh, compared to Beacon, yeah. Beacon I also would like less than this. We can also worse. Like for example, Intax map was my favorite map there, and I would not give Intax map a 10 out of 10, for example. And yeah, the other is not that's either. Fair. So yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of work for us to do. I uh, hope you enjoyed all of these discoveries on my Dingsbums. Make sure to watch all of them if you only watch the last one, maybe now. And uh, yeah, we will all see each other Fun then. Intax. I mean, now when I upload this video, it should be like uh, middle of the week ish. And then on the weekend from the 5th and 6th of October, there will be the playoffs. So if you want to watch Jeepers. that, make sure to tune in. There's probably going to be official casts. We will obviously not stream our POV because we need to try out. But uh, yeah, make sure to tune in for the World Tour. And uh, hope you enjoyed all of the discoveries. And uh, tschüssi mit Ösi. Masa, do you have anything last words? Yeah. Um, I like your mama. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>